Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. So today's video is going to be another peach tutorial. This is part of peach week. I'm so sorry for the delay of this video. Um, like I always say, I keep you guys very updated on Snapchat and Instagram story as to what is going on. I have just been very, very, very crazy busy with work um, and it really didn't allow me to film last week. So I'm filming this today and trying to get it up for you guys the next day. So hopefully you're watching this 24 hours from this exact moment that I'm filming this. That is the goal. But I hope you guys enjoyed my first tutorial. Thank you guys so much for all the love and all the sweet comments on that tutorial. So as you guys know, the rules for the giveaway in my last video were you had to be subscribed to my channel and you needed to comment on the video. So I'm going to put it in to, it's like a website, I think it's random.com I believe is what it's called. And I put in the URL for my video there and it's going to randomly choose one person from the comments. So I wanted it to be fair. All of you guys left such beautiful comments, but, and they were so sweet, you guys. You guys are so nice. Honestly, you left me such nice comments. You guys are amazing. But I didn't want to sit there and like just pick somebody because I liked your comment the best. I really wanted it to be fair across the board. Some people are better at writing than others, and some people are a little bit more comfortable, you know, writing nice things on YouTube than other people. So just because you wrote, I want to enter the giveaway, I didn't want to make your chances any less than somebody who wrote a paragraph talking about how much they love my channel. But please know that every single one of your comments, regardless of which ones they were or what you wrote, I really appreciate them and I thought they were all so sweet and so nice and the fact that you guys took the time to comment on my video was amazing So I'm gonna put it in to this little server right here um, And then it's gonna randomly choose somebody from the comments um, That way I can get a winner I'm not gonna say who the winner is in this video just because um, I want to avoid any type of hate or I just don't think it's necessary for everybody to know who the winner is except for the winner you know what I mean? I just don't want to put anybody in a weird position. So I will be privately messaging the winner, but there is a winner in this exact moment. So if you received my message, congratulations. Thank you to everybody who joined the giveaway. I appreciate it so much. And if you didn't win the Sweet Peach Palette, I'm so sorry. I wish I could get a Sweet Peach Palette for every single person that commented on the video. I really wish that I could, but unfortunately I can't. Um, but there are two more giveaways coming. There's gonna be a giveaway in this video and then there's a giveaway in my next video that I'll have coming. So you have two more chances to win two amazing peach palettes. So in today's video, I will be doing a tutorial and a giveaway on the ColourPop Peachy Keen Quad. Now, ColourPop is one of my favorite brands, not only because they're extremely affordable, but it's because their products are really amazing. So in this quad, you get four eyeshadows, you get three mattes and a shimmer. You get the color Kennedy, which is this super beautiful peach color. Then you get Cornelius, which is this beautiful soft brown, but it has kind of like a peachy, rosy, kind of pink undertone to it. Then you get Bandit, which is this really beautiful, rich brown color that's very warm, but it doesn't have a lot of red in it. It's almost like if it has a lot of like a peachiness to it, not necessarily red, more of a peachiness, but it's very warm and oh, I just I love this color. And the last color you get is Crimper, which is this beautiful golden shade with like glitter in it. Let me just tell you guys, this is my one of my most used ColourPop eyeshadows of all time. This is, this and Lovely are probably my two favorite ColourPop eyeshadows, like ever. Peach is kind of like the new black right now. Like everything is about the peach colors, especially not for spring. So, you know, a lot of these palettes are a lot more on the pricey side. So this is a lot more affordable. I believe this quad is $20. Um, and you get four eyeshadows and you can create a lot of different looks with this. This is just one that I wanted to create for you guys. But it's an awesome, awesome, awesome product for an awesome price. So I wanted to include this in the giveaway because this is a product that I really, really, really love. And even if you don't win the giveaway, I feel like it's something that's a little bit more on the affordable side that a lot more of you guys will be able to get as opposed to, you know, another more expensive or high-end palette. So the rules for this giveaway are exactly the same as the last one. You have to be subscribed to my channel and all you have to do is comment on the video to enter. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Hello, hello everybody. So I'm so excited to be doing my second peak Peach Week tutorial. I can never say Peach Week. I don't know why. So let's get started. I'm going to be using a little bit of concealer and just dotting some on my eyes. And then I'm using my Morphe E8 brush to just press that into my skin. I also like to take it into like the sides of my nose and I kind of like that dip on the inner part of my eye to make sure that I get good coverage in there. So once I have a nice even layer, I'll just take a little bit of translucent powder and I will set down my eyelids. I've been setting my eyes a little bit different. I set my brow bone and my crease area, but I've kind of been avoiding my lid area with powder because I just find that it makes the shimmer shadows stand out more. So whenever I'm using a shimmery shadow on my lid, I don't set that with powder. Does that kind of make sense to you guys? Kind of. So now I'm just going to go ahead and highlight my brow bone. I'm using this Kat Von D eyeshadow palette and I'm just using this really nice creamy color. I don't know the name off the top of my head. 
and I'm just packing that on all along my brow bone so just one straight crazy line and then once I've done that I start to drag it down towards my crease to make it nice and blended you see how just dragging it down blends it all out nicely so we don't have that crazy white line there we go so now I'm picking up this peachy color from the quad called Kennedy and I'm taking my Morphe E23 brush and I'm just putting this right in my crease. I'm really blowing this color out and I'm not like really keeping it directly in the crease. I'm starting in the crease and then blending it up towards my brow bone because I want to have a really beautiful peachy halo all the way around my eyes. Now I'm picking up the color Cornelius and I am taking a Lexi 205 brush and I'm putting this color more concentrated in the crease. So I'm starting this directly inside of my crease and once I've got that nice kind of warm brown line in the crease, I start to blend out the edges very lightly. I'm also putting this color on the inner and outer edges of my eyes because we will be doing a spotlight eye today so I want to start creating that intensity on the inner and outer edges before we go in with the darkest color. I also like to use synthetic brushes when I'm using ColourPop eyeshadows because I just find that they blend the colors out a little bit better. Now I'm going into this nice brown color from the quad, the deepest color, and I'm taking a Luxie 237 brush. It's just a really tiny little baby brush, and I'm putting this on the outer edge of my eye. I like to start it at my lash line and then very lightly work it up into my crease. The less product there is on the brush, the higher up I take it. So I start with the most product on the outer edges against my lash line, and then as the brush gets less and less product, I start working it up. I'm keeping it very light in my crease. I want it to be most intense on the inner and outer edges. So I'm really packing it on on the inner and outer edges and then once I see that the brush doesn't have so much product on it, that's when I start to blend it into the crease. If we put too much of this in the crease, it's going to be really overpowering. We're going to lose all the peachiness. We wanted to make that peachy halo for a reason and we do not want to cover it up. So we're keeping this color most intense on the inner and outer edges and then just very lightly blending it into the crease. I'm now picking up the last brush that I was using, the Luxie 205 that I used for Cornelius, and that's what I'm using to blend out these edges because I don't want it to get too dark. Now I'm going into the color Crimper, which is one of my favorite eyeshadows ever, and I'm packing this on right in the center of my eye where we haven't put any color yet. With the glittery eyeshadows or the shimmer shadows from ColourPop, my favorite way to apply them is with my finger. So I'm just packing it on right to the center, and then I'm kind of swiping the edges to blend it into the other colors. And I'm just going to keep on packing on until it's the intensity that I want it to be at. I'm just taking a tissue and a little bit of micellar water and I'm going to go ahead and clean up under my eyes. The ColourPop shadows don't have too much fallout but they have a little bit so I'm just cleaning it up so it's nice and perfect. Now I'm going to jump off camera. I'm going to do my face and boom, there's my face. I got my face on. So now I am taking this little Morphe brush and I am smoking out my entire lower lash line with the color Kennedy which was the peachy color we used a little while ago and I am connecting it to the outer edges of my eye. Now I'm going with Cornelius and I'm using a Morphe E36 brush and I'm putting this color on the outer edges of my eye and I'm going to put it on the inner edges also. I'm also connecting this to the outer edge. I'm going to be connecting all the colors to the outer edges of my eye so it looks nice and cohesive and blended. But I'm not putting this color in the center of my lower lash line because we are going to do a spotlight lower lash line also. So I'm only putting this on the inner and outer corners of my lower lash line. And now using this little definer brush from BH Cosmetics, I'm picking up the color Bandit, which was the darkest color, and I'm putting it up against my lash line, and then I'm going into my E36 and using that to blend it out. I'm also keeping this color only on the inner and outer edges of my lash line, or my lower lash line, and I'm keeping the middle naked, and now I'm just blending it out with my E36 again. So now I'm picking up the color Crimper and this tiny little br brush from um, Inglot, and I'm just packing on the Crimper color right to the center of my eye so that it matches the top. So like the whole center of my eye on top and bottom looks like there's a spotlight hitting the center of it. That's the point of a spotlight eye. So I'm packing on the most to the center and then I'm going in with one of the last brushes that I was using and I'm just blending those edges so that I don't have like a harsh line of gold. So now I went ahead and I did my brows and my lashes off camera. Those are the House of Lashes Iconic Light Lashes. I have been loving those. And now the blush that I'm using is the blush from the Tarte Times Harouche palette. It's in the color Cheeky. And if you watch my first impressions video of this palette, I didn't like the blush initially. I just felt like it was too light for my skin. But at the time of that first impressions video, I was so tan it was the middle of summer and I was like so dark and right now I don't have a tan at all like I have no tan lines I am like super pale right now like this is the palest I get so when I'm pale like this I love this color it's so beautiful 
So now I'm picking up this Wet n Wild highlighter in the color Precious Petals, and I'm just putting this all along my cheekbones. I'm being very generous with this because I want it to be really glowy. I'm also going to put some on the center, on the tip of my nose, and then I like to put a little bit, not in between my eyebrows, but in the area right underneath the middle of my eyebrows. Um, because I have a tad bit of a bump on my nose, so I don't want to accentuate it by putting the highlighter all the way down my nose. So I put it on the tip and on the area right on top of my bump to kind of make it look a little bit more straight and kind of take attention away from the bump, you know what I mean? Now I'm putting a little on the cupid's bow, a little on the chin, and a little bit over the brows. I really went for an intense brow today. I don't know what happened. Sometimes I just do my brows and... They just come out really intense. So now I'm using that same highlighter for my inner corner highlight. I didn't want my inner corner highlight to be crazy, crazy, crazy bright because I really wanted the main focus of this look to be the gold color on the center of the lid and on the center of the lower lash line. So I wanted something bright, but something that was kind of not as light. I wanted something that was kind of the color of all those peachiness colors that we have going on. So that highlight worked perfect. And now I'm just setting my face with a little bit of the L'Oreal infallible spray the Milani spray is way better but it is sold out everywhere so I've been using the L'Oreal one so now I'm gonna put on a little bit of lipstick and this is one of the new Morphe liquid lipsticks in the color brunch I've never used this before this was the first time I used it and I really liked the color it's a really 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 nice color actually when I first put it on it kind of reminded me of the um, ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the color Screenshot, which I used in my last video, and this is me comparing them there. I'm like, hey, these look similar. I don't know. So now I swatched them to show you. This first one is Screenshot, and the second one is Brunch, so you can see there is a noticeable difference. Um, Screenshot's a little bit darker. Brunch is a little bit lighter, but they're within the same peach family. But um, the formula of the Morphe one was really nice. It wasn't super duper duper dry. It was really comfortable. I mean, it was good. I ended up really liking it. It was a nice formula. So now I'm going in with this Milani... I don't know, metallic liquid lipstick in the color chromatic, what is it? Something chromatic. I'll have it listed in the description box below. I can't think of the name off the top of my head. But I just put it right in the center of my lip and then I patted it out to kind of give like a soft metallic look. I feel like metallic lips are just really intense and like they're really unwearable. So I wanted to do kind of like a wearable version of it. But you can totally skip this step if you want. And then after this, we are all done. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful as I always do. I hope you guys are really excited about Peach Week and excited about the giveaways that I'm doing. I'm so excited to be doing them for you. Like I said last time, I appreciate my subscribers so much and every single one of you just like really make my day like knowing that you subscribe to my channel and you care about my videos just like it really makes me happy, you know? And it really makes me feel like I do all this for a reason and not just for nothing. Please remember that if you're interested in entering the giveaway for the ColourPop Peachy Queen, Peachy Queen for the ColourPop Peachy Keen Quad. Um, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and you have to comment on the video. Also follow me on my other social medias on Instagram and Snapchat. I'm always posting there. I know I take a little bit long to post on YouTube sometimes. Sometimes I just get caught up with work and with life and it's, I just, it's hard. It's hard, you know? Um, but please know that even though I don't post as much as I would love to, I still genuinely enjoy YouTube so much and I love it so much and I wish that I had more time for it. And I'm trying really hard to make more time for it in the future so I can get a lot more videos up for you guys. Um, but follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I'm always updating you guys as to what's going on. I'm always talking about makeup, always giving you makeup tips and just, you know, just that's my life. Makeup is my life. So that's what I'm always talking about. Thank you guys again and I will see you in my next video. Bye.